Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at uh, how I perfected my Android device so this will be a very long video so uh, stay tuned uh, to understand basically how I uh, managed to master my phone so that I made it perfect on the side of battery life and performance the first thing I want to talk about is uh, that I'm using S8 ports since uh, the first one came out it was the 50th of April and a guy named uh, Hongwei 113 just released the first S8 port and it came as a shock because before that all the S8 apps you can get on the other device was uh, the launcher and the music player and a couple of those applications but uh, he somehow managed to port the whole thing, the whole software over here with all the lips and everything so that it worked perfectly on uh, our beloved S7 so uh, after that a lot of uh, softwares just uh, started coming out and a lot of uh, new versions and uh, after five months I can easily say of trying uh, I managed uh, to find the perfect one for me so uh, this is Ambassador version 5.0 so far this is the latest version from for this software it uh, comes with the latest Android security patch um, not the latest uh, Samsung experience version but even the SA don't have the, this so uh, I'm uh, running a more kernel version 1.9 and uh, as I told you Ambassador S8 port version 5.0 is uh, the best one for me so uh, if you want stock experience this is the wrong for you there are no mods and this is the reason why it's been the smoothest with the best battery life at least for me so uh, I got no hiccups and uh, basically it's, it's just working uh, how it should be and uh, it's been the most responsive uh, ROM that uh, there is out there right now and I've checked everyone you can see in my channel and uh, there are even a couple of uh, them that I tried but I didn't make a review of them so uh, these are Danny Deck ROM and uh, Ice Renovate so these are two ROMs that I did not make reviews on them but I've tried them so uh, the first thing I do to uh, manage uh, my battery life so you can see my usage so let's now go to power saving and uh, just hold on to see my battery usage as I just said. So uh, when we go to battery usage, you can see I have 59% of battery left with an estimated of 7 hours and 20 minutes. And uh, you can see I've got my device for 7 hours and 20 minutes of the charger with the screen on time of 2 hours and a half. So uh, this is the flat model and this battery has been used for pretty decent I can say a year and uh, it's been an amazing uh, performance for it so uh, I'm uh, rocking Snapchat, Facebook, Spotify and Messenger all the time so these are the my main uh, battery drainers let me just turn on my sound so uh, how I manage uh, to uh, do this battery life so uh, first off let's go to the settings and uh, over here when you in the battery section just go on the bottom over here and you can see that there is always sleeping gaps so uh, basically I've put all my applications in this mode uh, without uh, those two which are Viber and uh, Messenger and uh, you still do receive notifications because uh, I do get all my Snapchat notifications but uh, sometimes for example Facebook don't get them but sometimes it does but the battery life uh, has improved a lot since uh, I put all of them so uh, come here and just put uh, the, those applications that uh, you don't need uh, so much the next thing when you go to battery usage and uh, go to the three dot menu on the top right corner go to optimize battery usage and to be sure that uh, you can uh, be sure that everything that can be turned on is turned on so this will give you a better battery life so uh, the next thing which is a uh, kernel related so I'm rocking a more kernel version 1.9 as you can see over here is uh, mtwix so this is an application which you get also on a notorious kernel and uh, when you install it you can see that uh, over here you can manage your cpu and uh, gpu also the wake walks so let's start off with wake walks which for me is uh, one of the most important things so i've disabled every one of those and uh, i'm still getting uh, stock feeling and uh, basically i don't uh, have any hiccups nowhere so um, when we go to CPU over here you can see I'm not a, a gamer I'm uh, playing Quash Royale sometimes when I'm really bored so I've put my CPU maximum frequency to 1.7 GHz so if a Huawei 
with a 1.5 GHz processor can run Facebook and Snapchat, why can't my phone run them on a little uh, higher frequency? So I've put it on Active Governor and uh, the small CPU is set to 1.3 with uh, the power save governor and also be sure to click this thing over the on the bottom to schedule work, work, work weeks on a wake CPU to save power. So the next thing is uh, to undervote your CPU so that you get a better battery life with uh, not uh, that big of a power being used. So uh, better performance, sorry. So I've put all those to minus 62.5 and uh, when you go to the little you can see minus 56 point and quarter. So uh, this uh, for me has been uh, the perfect balance. So uh, let me just put that back to 56. So uh, the next thing is the GPU over here under the frequencies. I've touched nothing but uh, I went and earned vote it by minus 25. So uh, basically this is uh, what I did in M weeks. So of course the first two to three um, cycles of the battery will not give you the best battery life. So expect that. And after that, so this is my probably ninth or tenth cycle of the battery with those settings. And uh, as you can see that for a flat model, which a battery is almost a year old, that uh, I can uh, make, I can, I've easily made three hours with 50% left and uh, I'm always uh, running on uh, 4G or Wi-Fi and uh, it's been amazing for me so I don't use Greenify or any other applications this is uh, the only thing tweaks I do for uh, my battery life so uh, so far this is uh, the best ROM over here and um, it's just been an amazing experience with it of course if you want to have uh, your mods go to SAC23 or Tamerlan's uh, to 2009. I'm uh, not sure if uh, Tamerlan is uh, his uh, real name, but the end 2009. All of those links will be down into the description. So uh, be sure to check those ROMs if you want uh, customizations. But uh, so far, I just don't want to go to any other ROM because uh, this is uh, the perfect one. So we are expecting uh, Android 7.1 uh, to come to those devices uh, really soon. So uh, stay tuned. Be sure to click that like button and the subscribe one. So uh, basically this is uh, how I perfected my Android device for the perfect performance and uh, the perfect battery. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.